science is like climbing mountains. It's going to high tops, but also deep valleys. It has a lot to do with uncertainty, with hard work and with struggle. And of course, sometimes these Eureka moments when you really make a discovery. And after four minutes or so, the secretary of the Nobel Committee said, are you still there, Dr. Fehringa? It's so quiet. Yes, I say, I'm in the shock, but I'm extremely honored. At that moment, 30 years of my life passed by. Whole generations of students, all the people around the world that I cooperated with. These were quite emotional moments, I, I must say. Asking questions is fundamental to science. Maybe my journey started when I was a small boy. I lived on the farm in a family of 10 and I learned to ask questions and I was discussing with my father, with my brothers and sisters and try to find answers. So we built new molecules to allow us to build new materials. And in our case, we built tiny machines that do dynamic functions, movement. Look around you, from your smartphone to the pills you take when you have a disease, to your cars, it's all about molecules and materials. It's a great privilege to work every day with the brightest young minds and to work on things that we have no idea where it will end or what we will discover. Give room to scientists, especially in fundamental science, to make mistakes because you learn a lot from mistakes. To discover, to be adventurous. You cannot predict everything. If you cannot stand uncertainty, never become a scientist.